I, that's I had, mine. I had a forerunner. That's you like yours? That? Nice. You like that? Nice. That's for my show. Nice. It's pretty rugged, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine. I'm lying. Hang out with Bash season two. <laughs> Turn me up. <laughs> I didn't smash it. I didn't this time. Last time I did. What's good, everybody? Welcome to another season of Camping Out with Bash. And you know, I got to start it off hot. You know, got Pro Bowl, All Pro linebacker, Eric Kendricks in the building. And we'll give a round of applause. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. They at home with They at home giving the round of applause. Yeah, yeah. keep guessing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, what's good, bro? What's up? How you doing? I'm doing great. How's the transition been so far? How you like it? I love it. You know, I'm a Cali boy at heart, and mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel like the locker room has really been—it's uh, been the key for me. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of guys like yourself have embraced me and um, made me feel comfortable. You know, even though it's a new playbook and things like that, mm -hmm. I feel like the mindset and the, and the goal and everything like that is all the same what mm -hmm. I'm used to. So, listen, I know you're an LA guy, so we got a little game for you. All right. Would you rather LA edition? Okay. All right. So you ready? The Lilas are nice guy. I'm gonna do the Delilahs, just cause it's a little bit more of a turn up later than I. Mm, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> in and out or water burger? All right. Why would I want a frozen burger over a fresh burger? I'm gonna take it in and out all day. Mm. They have great merch. Mm. They have fresh burgers. They have real fries. Mm. Come on, it's not even. A, it's not, a not even close. Damn. Yeah, I know you heard it from Mr. LA himself. Okay. Stuck in LA traffic or Disneyland line? Oh, LA traffic all day. Disneyland, it's fun and all, but there's, there's, I can't, the line and every, no. I'd rather be moving in a car, air conditioning. Okay, this one, this one's hard. Malibu or Laguna Beach? I'm a Malibu guy. I like driving, like I said. Um, so I like going up in the canyons and then stopping for lunch. So, Malibu for sure. So is it true that you're a leaf year baby? Yeah, I was born on February 29th, um, which is like, you know, every four years is a 29th. So really you're seven years old? I'm really seven years old. I turned eight uh, this next year, I think. Damn, and you're the only leap year baby in the NFL, you know that? Really? That's what's up. That makes lit. sense. You know, I'm very unique, special. Are you, are you him? I'm him. Like Uzi? I'm, I'm leap year. I'm him, the him leap year. <laughs> him? Sir, leap year him? Lim, lim, lim. <laughs> I try to do it. It work. <laughs> it's all Limpier. good. Here. It's all the good. MP. So being from LA, you earned three varsity letters in high school playing LB, QB, running back, kicker, and punter. Mm -hmm. What? I really just was like at running back, and then if we need to throw a pass, I'll go to quarterback or receiver. And then it was like if we oh, no. had to punt the duck ball, I was going to punt. Oh no, you're really him. You're sir like him. It, I feel like it prepared me for to play football, but like it was kind of confusing because it was like, okay, what am I gonna play at the next level? Mm -hmm. But my brother had went to college as an athlete and kind of assimilated into a linebacker role. Mm -hmm. So I looked at my brother like, oh, he's playing linebacker. I'll play mm -hmm. linebacker. That's dope. That's dope. So three-star recruit, and then you decided to go to UCLA. Mm -hmm. Why? Because close to home. My, so my father went to UCLA. He played running back, um, and you know I feel like it was always a, a dream of mine to go to UCLA. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, you know I was a very very low recruit, and I didn't have a lot of lot of good offers. Um, I had you know Fresno State and things like that in my hometown, but I wanted to get out. And uh, when I got the UCLA offer, it was like my dad went there. It was my dream school. It made sense, you know, even though I was, like I said, I was the lowest recruit in the class, yeah. but um, I had to earn my keep for sure. 100%, if it makes you feel better, I was a two star slash three star. Okay, I got my third star when I committed to UCLA. Yeah, we <laughs> they were like, oh, we'll just give him three. You know? <laughs> it don't I, mean, it doesn't mean that, anything. I love how that works though. Like, it, doesn't you know, I mean, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Listen, kids. I would go to these camps and I would, it's okay, just kids. work hard. Yes, kids, don't stress out over the stars. It's all about when you get there. And there's people who develop late too. You know exactly. What I mean? Some people peak in high school. Yeah. Don't exactly. be that guy. Don't be that guy. You don't want to be that guy. I wasn't that guy, believe it or not. Me either. Super cool. Just had a son. Baby boy named so Knight. So you. I know. So did, so did we. But uh, how's that going so far? It's going well. You know, um, crazy life is just it's just it's just wild and i feel like you know you're constantly learning new lessons and stuff like that but uh 
You know, I, I learned how to just slow a little bit of things down with him. You know, every time I'm holding him, things just slow down a little bit. I enjoy it. So I'm gonna keep enjoying it, you know, and learn, learn some more as I go. 100%, 100%. And lastly, I know you're a car concierge, car salvant, car guy, big car guy. Talk to me about that. What got you in the cars? What I don't know. I think it was a mix between Hot Wheels and RC cars. Like uh -huh. I used to, you know, remote control cars, race yeah. them in the tracks. Um, I had a TRD. You know, there's a TRD back there, pretty mm. clean. I had, That's I, had mine. I had a Forerunner. You That's like yours. That? Nice. You like that? Nice. That's for my show. Nice. It's pretty rugged, huh? <laughs> it's not mine. I'm lying. Well, I, just love, I, just, I, just love, I just love cars. I mean, no, I feel like sure. we spend so much time in the car too, especially 100%. in LA. Especially in LA. You gotta what? enjoy it. You know, Got it. and I 100%. do. Last time I checked and read, you had an awesome finger paint organization that gave back to the community. So I decided, why not play a little game with us finger painting? Okay. And we can talk a little bit more about you. Is that cool? I'm with it. All right, let's get it. I got my, I got my tape on. Listen, I'm about to get freaky. So talk to me about your family more. You and your wife. Y'all met at UCLA, right? We met at UCLA. Are we gonna be painting while we're doing this? Yes, we're gonna be okay. painting while we're doing this. So me and my wife, we met at UCLA kinda, you know, we met at a party and my friends who, they all went to UCLA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she played soccer, she's a stud. Mm -hmm. She's the best athlete in the family. We like mm. to joke around, but we're really not joking. I feel like uh, she understands the life of an athlete because she played two sports in college. Um, she comes from a sports family. Dope. And that's my wife. I think we just got married like a year ago. I think that's so awesome, man. You know, especially because the athletics, she she knows your pain, man. She feels what you're feeling at all times. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's very important. I think that's very important. Superstar family of athletes. I love it. I I, I mean, I, you just can't beat it. So, um, all right. Well, I'm kind of done with this bad boy. I mean, I've been going crazy with it a little bit. You know, I'm gonna add a little touches, a little touch up. <clears throat> Let's touch this here. Nice. And let's show the people what we're working with. I just made a little abstract joint. Oh, I like that. I like that. Is mine stereotypical? See, I did. I was gonna make a boat, <laughs> and I was like, let me go. Let me just veer off. Let me just do something that's therapeutic. That is therapeutic. Yeah. I like that a lot. I feel like if you spin it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah. It'll kind of be. You know, when, you know when we were kids and we had those little. Yeah, and they made it like smush like yeah, the lines. Yeah. And you kind of just like drop the paint on there. Yeah. I honestly, I'm not. I'm not that, I'm not that, uh, yeah, I, I can't do that. But I know what you're talking about. See, that's why you the best, the best thing about painting, though, is you could just cover it up if you want to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get some how, white. Yeah. How did that charity come about? So honestly, during COVID, I used to, I used to go to an art school uh -huh. and I, and I, and I would do art every day. Like some type of, like, either it was dancing, mm -hmm. you know, percussion, pottery, uh -huh. painting, graphics design. So I was used to doing art, and then when I got to high school, I got away from it. Mm -hmm. And then one year, you know, in the league, I was like, man, I feel like I'm missing something in my life. So I went to Michael's or Blick, and I got a bunch of like canvases and paint, mm -hmm. and I just started making a bunch of art. Fast forward COVID year, yeah. I'm sitting at home, like we're not doing anything, and I'm painting more than I ever have before, usually, wow. you know. And then I'm like, you know what? Um, people, I was posting them, and people were like, oh, let me get that. And I was like, let me, let me sell it and match the donation Whoa. to whatever charity they pick. That's amazing. So I bro. just started like, I sold a bunch of them and um, got my friends involved. And it was it was a lot of fun. Bro, that is awesome. I mean, I think, I think that's what it's all about, you know? It's and one thing. I'm, still, I'm just painting right now still. I'm not done. Are you are you not I just, done? I just changed it up. Listen, you're an artist. Like this man this went to art fun. school. He's an artist, philanthropist, gives back to the community, got a beautiful family, baby boy night. You know, I think, you know, we should have a race off soon, just saying with our babies, but that's just another, so that's another conversation. <laughs> a race. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Run! Faster! <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> we get CPS called on us. Bro, 100%, 100%, 100%. <laughs> um, excuse me, these uh, large football players are racing their babies. Can um, we get this baby a Gatorade, please? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not crawling fast enough, 10 up downs. <laughs> Tell me time, time's 10. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Eric. I appreciate you coming through, man. Super excited to have you here. Super excited what you're gonna do for, for us defensively, man. Having someone just strong in the middle, pause. 
that's very important. And uh, we're super excited to have you, man. And uh, mm -hmm. that's another episode of Camping Out with Bash. There you have it. You know, Eric Kendrick's in the building. You know, go support his his uh, charity. Go support his family. You know what I'm saying? Where they can find you, bro? Where are your handles? Handles, socials? Oh, uh, EKLA6. Mm -hmm. that, was my, that was my college Instagram handle, so it's back. That's hard. I'm in number six. Hard, okay. hard. UCLA Bruins all day, fours up. Gang. We beat USC a lot when I was there. You know what I mean? I know last year it was a little different, but you heard that. This is called the cream saver. I just changed it a little bit. What's up, cook? That's that California. Sh we out. We outside. Later. Eleven. So we out of here. <laughs>